what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install CFW on your PS3 using the 4.84 hybrid firmware just want to say shout out to all the devs that work on this so that we can have hand going again and we can also install um, CFW and on our PS3 once again all right so do keep in mind that this will only work for jailbreakable PS3 this will not work for super slim okay if you do this on your super slim you will brick the console also keep in mind that you should always check the firmware what's the lowest it can go down to before doing this if you have a 2500 slim PS3 always check firmware what's the lowest it can go down to with the minver check okay so let's go ahead and get started so guys right here over on the PSX place website they shared some information with us they also have the HDD version you can dump the the NOR or the NAN um, X file to the HDD on your PS3 or you can use the other method and dump it on your USB stick I'll be using the method with the USB stick also it shows that all the fats are supported slims 2000 but the 2500 slim you have to check it 3.56 is the safe zone 3.56 and lower that's the safe zone again if you have a 2500 slim ps3 model always use the minver check to check what's the lowest it will downgrade to okay also keep in mind that this will only work for 4.84 hybrid firmware so that's the 4.84 hfw firmware do not try this on any other firmware your PS3 needs to be on 4.84 hybrid firmware okay so let me just go over to the files that we're gonna be using right here we have the flasher X file I'll show you guys how to use that and right here we have some files that I found on the internet this will help you to identify your PS3 as well so the first one shows the model of the PS3 right here the sec the right here shows the flash if it's a NOR or if it's a NAN and the last one over here shows what's the lowest it will downgrade to as you can see down at the bottom it shows these one in red so that means these PS3 right here they are on jailbreakable okay and the other one is the fat PS3 all of the fat PS3 are jailbreakable here it shows models and model number as you can see at the bottom again the 2500 PS3 you will always need to check that one so if you have this PS3 make sure that you guys check it with the minver check first okay you don't want to mess up your PS3 and right here it shows that you can find the model number on the back of the fat and also on the slim it shows the same exact location where you can find it here it also gives you some information on your PS3 type with the serial with the number and everything so make sure that you guys um, look through this and try and identify your PS3 first we also have the minver check I'll show you guys how to use this and we also have the NOR plus nan dumper I'll show you guys how to use this I'll be using the mini web so I know a lot of people have problems using the mini web but this is the one that I'll be using because it's a lot faster and we also have the nor plus nan writer so we're gonna use this tool to write the um, the patch file and down here we have the 4.80 4.2 hybrid firmware and down here we have the PYPS3 tool so you will need this to check your dump whenever you make it on your ps3 okay so let's go ahead and get started the first thing we're going to do is use the minvert check and we're going to check what's the lowest our ps3 can downgrade to so go ahead and copy the minvert check and place it on your usb stick 
your USB stick should be FAT32 formatted so go ahead and paste it right there once you paste it right there eject the USB stick and plug it to the right port of the PS3 let's head over to the PS3 now let's go all the way up top update update via storage media and there it is so press X and that's the lowest my system can go down to remember 3.56 and lower that's the safe zone if your PS3 does not say 3.56 or anything below that you will brick your system so it has to say 3.56 and lower okay so when you find out what's the lowest your system can downgrade to go ahead and remove your USB stick and let's head back over to the PC okay so now that we're back on the PC you want to go back out and go to the USB stick and delete the minvert check okay so now I'm gonna copy the hybrid firmware over to my USB stick okay so now that the hybrid firmware is on our USB stick just gonna right click and create a new folder call this one PS3 drag the update inside there go inside it create another folder call it update drag the fold the update inside it go inside and then rename this one right here make sure you rename it the exact same way so go back out out again and what you need to do is just plug this into your PS3 and we're gonna update to the hybrid firmware keep in mind that you should be on the hybrid firmware before you can do this okay so just eject the USB stick and let's go ahead and update with the hybrid firmware okay so we are now back on the PS3 let me go ahead and show you guys my system firmware there it is 4.84 OFW so I'm just gonna go ahead and update to the hybrid firmware let me go back and show you guys there's nothing on my PS3 hope you guys can see that there's nothing on my PS3 okay so I'm gonna go to system update via storage media and there is the hybrid firmware so I'm gonna press X and install it on my OFW okay guys so we have just updated the PS3 to 4.84 hybrid firmware so now we can continue with the jailbreak so go back over to your PC and plug the USB stick back in alright so let's go ahead and delete what's right here delete the PS3 update folder now remove your USB stick and plug it back to the PS3 right port the right PS3 port then go ahead and open up the dumper so go ahead and open it and make sure that you disable your antivirus your firewall or your malware fighter disable all of those things because it will block the mini web go ahead and right click properties compatibility and then you want to run this as administrator apply an OK go ahead and launch the mini web click allow access and right here is the IP address from your mini web so you need to go over back to your PS3 now go to the internet browser press X you guys should know how to set up a blank page by now but I'm going to show you again so press triangle go to tools go down to home page and you want to use a blank page press OK press triangle again go up back to tools go down to cache and you want to delete all the cache right here you can also go ahead and delete the history if you want so just press circle and exit the browser press X and enter the browser again 
when you enter the browser again you want to press start on your controller and delete that then you want to go ahead and enter the IP address right here that Miniweb gives you so that's the IP address press start and you're gonna get this option okay so if you have a fat PS3 and that's a NAN PS3 you have fat nor PS3 and fat NAN PS3 as I said check the photos to identify your PS3 to know what type you have so the top one is for NAN so if you use the top one you will dump the NAN to your USB stick if you use the NAN HDD that one will dump it to your PS3 hard drive but I'm using a NOR slim PS3 so I'm gonna use the NOR so I'm gonna use X it's gonna give me this option and 0 0 0 0 0 that's your right USB port 0 0 1 that's your left USB port and 0 0 6 if your PS3 has four port then you can select um, 0 0 6 but I'm gonna leave mine with the right PS3 port just go ahead and click initialize exploitation and there you go exploit initialization success go down to dump 16 nor flash to USB device press X give it some time for it to dump dump it to your USB stick okay so as you guys can see nor flash dump operation completed so we can now check our USB stick to see if the dump is there so just unplug your USB stick from your PS3 and plug it to your PC okay so we can minimize that and we can close the mini web so here is the dump the dump X that we just created from the PS3 so just right click and create a new folder and we're gonna call this one clean dump X drag the dump in there then cut it from the USB stick go back out and paste it here okay so what we need to do from right here now is go ahead and go to the writer and make sure that you run the writer as administrator as well now open the miniweb writer allow okay then go back out get the flash x 4.84 hfw copy it and paste it on your usb stick the root of your usb stick okay so that's perfect remove your USB stick and plug it back to your PS3 write port again let's head over back to the PS3 so we're gonna press circle and we're gonna exit the web browser now go back in the browser again make sure that you guys have make sure that you guys have the writer open okay make sure that the writer is up and running so this is the writer right here see it, as you guys can see it right here the writer okay so press start on your ps3 controller enter the ip address again and now we're on the writer page so as i said before if you're going to use it from your usb stick use the the not the NAN top one if you're gonna use it from your HDD your PS3 hard drive you can use the second one the top one those are for NAN PS3 these down here these are for NOR PS3 so I'm gonna use the one from my USB stick so I'm gonna use this one press OK and what we're gonna do is click initialize exploitation and there you go exploit initialization come uh, success go over to patch nor flash 
So as you guys can see, it says no flash memory patch operation completed. If we go down, you can see the message underneath. You can dump the nor now and check that the patch has been applied successfully. Then reboot to enable the patches and install the 4.84 CFW of your choice. So what we need to do from right here is go ahead and exit the browser. Then we're going to dump the NOR again and check it. Okay, so just remove your USB stick from your PS3, plug it back to your PC again. Okay, so we can now go ahead and delete the flash from our USB stick. Let's minimize this. You can now close down the mini web. Let's go back out. Let's go ahead and open up the dumper again. Run the mini web one more time. Make sure it's the dumper mini web. Remove your USB stick from your PC and plug it back to the PS3. Now let's head over back to the PS3. Go to the internet browser one more time. Press start. Enter the IP address again. And we are going to dump the NOR once again just to verify that the patches were okay. Okay, so I'm going to dump the NOR again. As I said, the top ones, these are for NAN. And the bottom one, these are for NOR. Okay, so I'm using a NOR PS3. So I'm going to dump it to the USB stick again. Go down to Initialize Exploitation. There you go, success. I'm going to dump the NOR again just to make sure that everything went perfect. Okay, so as you guys can see, we now have dumped the NOR once again. So let's exit the browser. Let's remove our USB stick and plug it back to the PC one more time. All right, so we can minimize this. We can now close down the mini web. Now let's go ahead and create a new folder. And we're going to call this one patch dump x drag the dump inside there cut it from the USB stick and let's go back out and you want to paste it right here all right so here so up top we have the clean dump this is the dump we made before and down here this is the patch dump so this is the one that we patch afterwards okay so open up the PYPS3 tool checker and also guys you should have um, Python downloaded on install on your PC this will make things a lot easier so open up the PY checker going go inside here and just drag the checker out here we can close this down now go to your patch dump right here go to the patch dump copy go back out go inside the checker paste it right here all right so what you need to do is go to the checker py go down to rename and you just want to copy this go up here and you want to type cmd enter and you want to paste that right there go to the dump x right click rename copy go back to the cmd you want to click space on your keyboard so click the space bar now paste it press enter on your keyboard and there it is guys it's checking it and as you can see down at the bottom um, danger zero and warning zero um, sometimes you will get like one warning if you get a warning it's still okay okay it's okay to continue but as you guys can see uh, no danger no warning so close this down
so we are good to go from right here because everything went perfect all right so what we need next is our um, 4.84 CFW so let me just go ahead and get my 4.84 CFW okay so we just checked the patch dump and everything was okay as I said if you get warning that's still okay you can continue just the same but this is the 4.84 CFW that I'm gonna install rebug it has to be 4.84 CFW so any 4.84 CFW will work from this point on do not install um, 4.5 something 4.70 or whatever it has to be 4.84 CFW so install any 4.84 CFW okay so let's go ahead and copy this and paste it on our USB stick okay so let's go now and create a new folder we're gonna call this one PS3 drag the update inside there go inside it another one call it update and drag it in there go inside it and you want to rename this now so just go ahead and rename it the exact same way and that's it so now we can eject our USB stick and head over to the PS3 okay so once you're on the PS3 make sure that you reboot the PS3 first to apply the patches remember when we when we flash the PS3 with the flash X we got a message at the bottom says to turn off the PS3 to apply the patches once everything is okay so as you saw the dump axe was perfect there was nothing wrong with it so I'm gonna turn off the PS3 now and then turn it on back and we can install our um, CFW so let me just go ahead and show you guys again there's nothing on my PS3 right so just go ahead and reboot the PS3 okay guys so the PS3 has just been rebooted now we can go ahead and install any 4.84 CFW of our choice so go to update system update via storage media and there is my rebug 4.84.1 custom firmware as I said guys you can install any 4.84 of your choice okay so I'm gonna press OK accept and that's it okay guys so my PS3 has just rebooted um, as you guys can see now I am on rebug there is my app on PS3 game section and there's the PKG package manager section I can now install rebug toolbox there it is let me go over and show you guys my system information there it is so that's what it's done guys um, just wanna say shout out again to all the developers that have worked on this um, if you like the video guys please give it a thumbs up also share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.